Father, we thank you that we expect miracles today. We expect your power. We expect your guidance. We expect your wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Thank you for your blessing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for a moment. Proverbs 22 verse... Proverbs 18, sorry. Proverbs 18 verse 22. I want us to just pray for five minutes about something. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing and then obtaineth favor of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now there are two ways in which or three ways in which this scripture can be unfulfilled. Yeah. Number one, to find, you see, you may not find, you may not find, that's one way. And then number two, you may not be found. Are you, are you listening? Yeah. This is a prayer time. I'm not preaching. This is a prayer time. So I'm giving the prayer topic. So to find is one, to, 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 to locate. Amongst all the beautiful girls. That's, it's not easy. It's not easy. I remember when Bishop Saki's wife died. It was like a new problem had come and we have been demoted to secondary school. To now go and start finding. Which many of us here are at that stage. Is it not true? <laughs> so, finding, locating. Now, when you find and then you don't find a good thing, <laughs> eh? find that a bad thing. Because there is no question about the fact that some marriages are bad marriages. It's what we call an IMC. Ill married couple. And when you are married and it's not working, it's like hell. People pray for deliverance for it. From it. When you grow, you, you come to see all funerals are not sad. As sad as you think. And when they are sad, they are not sad for the reason that you may think. One funeral, I saw somebody very sad. Then was, the person started to share the testimony why he or she was feeling sad. Said, oh, because I, I had a package. Somebody brought from America was supposed to deliver it to the person, but I haven't taken it, and the person has died. So not that the person is sad that the person is dead, but the package that you have not delivered. Another one said, I have sewn a dress, I had not finished, I've got the person's material, and I've not finished sewing, and also sad. So different reasons for being sad. Uh -huh. Are you there? Yes. So whoso findeth a wife, Findeth a good thing. So you must, marriage must be better than being single. You know, one day, there was a, a man, an elderly man, and he was saying that he was, I think, 70, maybe about 75 or 77. 
And he was saying that, you know, he's alive. He said, I'm alive because I'm not married. Yes. Ka, she, to, sha, pa, she, then. He said, all my friends who are married, this one is dead because of the wife. <laughs> because of the marriage. This one is at attack because of the marriage. So many, real life. All my stories are true unless I tell you that it is it's not true. Bishop Zach says all his stories are not true except the one that he says that are true. But all mine are true until I tell you that it's not true. <laughs> Your marriage will never make you die. So a good thing is destined for you. Verse 11. The Lord God is a son of and a shield. Amen. He is what? A sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So God is going to choose for you. Huh? A beautiful wife and a nice brother. You believe it? Jeremiah 29. Or let's look at Psalm 34, verse 10. Before we go to Jeremiah. And then we are praying. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. Most lions die from hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. So when you seek the Lord, you will find a wife, you will find a husband. Or a husband will find you. Do you want a husband to find you, sisters? Yes. And you must be as eager as you are shouting now when you marry. That you become tired of the marriage. You say that it is too much work. Verse 1. These are the words of the letter. That Jeremiah, this is a letter that Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders. Wow. Do you want to hear this letter? Yeah. Verse 4. This is the letter. Thus says the Lord, God of hosts, to all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. I feel a great faith for marriage at this moment. Great faith. I feel God is going to do something great. Yes. Weddings will be too many in the church. Too many, too many, too many. Hmm. Wedding here, reception there. Wedding here, reception there. First service, second service, first, second, first, second, first, second. Verse 5. Now, I want you to notice this, all of us. Build houses. He, he, he told them, they, they were all carried to Babylon. He told them, these are your instructions. Number one, build houses. Okay. You see, to start building and to build a house is a basic instruction for the beginning of your life. Wow. Yes. Wow. Build houses and dwell in them. And plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Number two, verse six. Uh, by the way, and gardens. Don't, so don't cut trees. When you see a tree, you start cutting. It's a sign of something. I don't want to say, but it starts with the word B. Huh? Uh -huh. Verse 
verse 6. Take ye wives. Yes, that's the second instructions. Take ye wives. And beget sons and daughters. Then, take wives for your sons. Okay. Okay. These are instructions. These are clear instructions. So take wives, get, yes, get what takes for your sons. So, yes. So we are supposed to get wives for our sons. To husbands. Okay. That is, if they are if they are humble creatures, we can give away. When it says give, it sounds like something you can take and say, take, 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 take my daughter, take my. Well, sometimes you give your daughter and then she's not giveable. You give your daughter, she can say, I don't like this one, it's too short. Many daughters are not giveable. receive it that they may bear sons and daughters and that he may be increased their knowledge so I'm just trying to say that the beginning of a good thing is your marriage so when you are in a relationship or you are and, and you are told ask the person ask the people around tell, they, tell me if my relationship is not good or not so that I can know whether I shouldn't go forward a lot of people don't, don't give advice. The other day, somebody came to see me talk plenty. So should they marry? I said, please, I can't, I can't make any comment about this. That's when I find somebody who can advise you. I, have, I cannot advise you. When I advise you, you may not follow what I say. So I, I didn't say anything. I said, I cannot, I, can, I, cannot, I cannot give advice. Yeah. Are you still around or you are leaving? Yes. Who's so? Wow, this is something good, and it is. It is. It is. Yes. So your marriage is being living examples Amen. of happiness. Amen. How many believe it? Amen. Yes. Do not be shouting swine. Uh, idiot. <laughs> one day, one of my church members is a policeman. He was caught on the emergency radio to a house. When they got to the house, the wife, the wife was very big. She was beating the husband. All my stories are true. You see, all my stories are true. When she saw the policeman, the policeman is my church member. She, she asked the policeman, "You are you married? Do you know the problem we have here?" <laughs> the policeman was afraid. She said, "Nonsense! You can't come to my house." I think the husband had called the police. <laughs> She told the policeman, idiot. The policeman told me, she's, idiot was her favorite word, idiot. She tell the husband, idiot, then the policeman, idiot. Husband, idiot, policeman. She was sharing the idiot. <laughs> you will never talk like a fool in Jesus' name. <laughs> Stand to your feet. Frank. Now we are praying seriously, oh. Our marriage counseling will just be premarital. Yeah, there are two things that we need to cancel from the church. One is post-marital counseling. Rather, it should be post-marital testimonies. Not post-marital counseling. That we are now coming to do more advice. And I'll tell you the other one if you remind me. 
what we have to cancel from the church. Amen. Amen. Lift your hand, everybody pray. And those of us who are already married, pray. Some of us, our marriages are not as they should be. Lift your hands and pray. Kama show talabala baba. Menta kora ba kaviente komo kusanda ba. Libra kata vine me kestora midambra kusambre de gadizia. Paloria manu kusanda ba. Tenove ne kestoka. Jizobra grande neve kestoma. Milaro kusoke vadiga vinstom bara nanan kantong gabre. Jika bora katavio melesuda. Rabanta koma na kateno mokosa. Jidebe ketola vianda ba. Rapa vide kestoria. Liba korama niketola ba. Jedando bo konama vinde. Bradika sa mikantona ma. Malomadin kentola ma. Jenima ma kapandolo logodivelo. Ziraboka telo mominda be. Jenamono kotanbeno modambile. Jebarakanta zonami kandolo mo. Kebabidaka riadoso kulami. Mi antena zena makunde rebe kolia lavado sampari and the lima rabati kaso kantanda ba iya pako shake mada radinde koma na kastalo merivasto palune meneza zigatu kapa jeri kanto manuka palela radimbe veke stonda ba ya ina mukota kedo boko shika mari adusa ka levanto nge nika mo randi emeke tuna ma Mizaro mijaro me kasoka jikaro me kasoka mirabanta kapandere begusa irapa kosha kapanda liaba iya manuke talaba bandere gesoka reda kosa barakanda ba iya panoma zite kaba rede kaba si andala baba iya makora makasande jendoro mokosande remeka ria baka pandele beya ya vandere kasunde rabanda iyoro mokosande Rebeka pale, ria baka soka pakale, iya kobara kasando roboko, rema kabande rebelika, maroma kapali anda ba. To find the grace to find the grace to choose the grace to be found and the grace to find Lama Shanda Baka. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keraba, ira baka pa, romo no koshanda laba, rema kapaliya. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Yes, Lord. Now, let us thank God for a good thing. Something good. Yes. Everybody here is yes. going to say a good thing. Good thank thing. you, Lord. You are going to see a good thing. Thank Believe you, Lord. God, right yes. now. Yes. The young lions The young lions Rondo. Yes. They suffer hunger. Yes. Rasokane, Merokane. But they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus, Kola Maria Ka, Molaki Sola Mayanda Ba, Lombre Kosanda La Ba, Kama Mino Kosaya, Lira Ba Shada Ba, Kabari Anda Ba, Mondere Be Kosi Andele Ma, Maruna Ma Kashanda Le Be Palua, Ria Ba Kosa Kile Me, Maruna Ma Sendo Lo Bo Koya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now. I want us to bind any cover Jesus. that is covering the good yes. thing. Yes. So that you are not finding it. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to break down every yes. obstacle, every yes. hindrance, yes. every covering. We break down every hindrance. In the name of Jesus. A yes. good thing that yes. God has given yes. to you. In the yes. name of yes. Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Kena kaparariyanda bakaya. Zoria makutela baba paromandele Sherina kotari amana irebo kosa kandere mukayaba Ramana masandere bebe kotaya la sula mamutoli ama Mariandele meke sonda la baba indere bebe kosa ndele bebe kapanda ba iya kosa rama mandela remo no kusure bebe kapaya zombre ketande lebeya malima musoli ama kabayandela manjenge ngongo mbeke mbala aloro mosi adapaka. Ire kete korama maluse telima ya la jorande remo kosi yama ya onde rebe kapaya ndaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. Yes. Say I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. I believe. Believe. I have it. I have it. A good thing. A good thing. A good experience. A good experience. Amen. You may be seated.
I need you to have faith for marriage. Yes. You know, the problems of everybody, of the people in the church are related to marriage things. Maybe 90%. Yes. Yes. So, it is when we close our eyes and pretend that things are not uh, a certain way, you will think that it's working, but it's not working. But yours is going to be different. <laughs> Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5. Habakkuk 1 5. Behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelously. I will work a work in your days which you will not believe though it be told you yes. which you will not believe though it were told you so many people have marriage as a great problem to find to be happy to flow to work but God is going by his power to do something that you will not believe in, you will not believe if, if, if they tell you today, you will not believe that it's, it's possible. I see you on the beach. That's why I'm encouraging you to learn how to swim. All those who think I'm joking, continue to be there. The beaches will be there and some people will be on it, sending you messages from the beach. Kama shadalaba sandalaba. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I want to preach to you about, I'm preaching about salvation. All this, uh, last week I was sharing about the good Samaritan. And the other day about Zacchaeus. And today it's about the prodigal son. Luke 15, the prodigal son. Yes. Well, the story we know as the prodigal son. I wonder why they call him the prodigal son. I wonder why they call him the prodigal son. I think you should call him foolish son. A foolish boy. But a certain man had two sons. Amazing. Verse 12. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, took his journey to a far country. And there he wasted his substance with riotous living. When he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of the country. And he sent him to his fields to feed swine. And when he would have fain filled his belly with the fasts which the swine did eat, no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. So he arose and he came to his father. And when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and earth. He didn't change the story. He didn't say, Father, I was doing my practicals in agricultural technology. No. He said, I have sinned. Many people don't like to say what they've done wrong. I've, I've done something wrong. And in thy sight, and I'm not worthy to be called thy son. And many people don't re re want to say that they are actually lower now and not worthy. And you must always consider yourself not worthy. Verse 23. And the father said to his servant, bring the, the best robe. What, 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 what did he say in verse 21? The son said, I am not worthy, isn't it? I have sinned and I'm no more worthy, verse 21. Verse 22, but the father said to his servants, or he said to his son, it's not true, all that you are saying is not true. 
What did the father say to the boy? It's not true that you are, not, you are no more worthy. It's not true that you have not sinned. He didn't make any comment. He didn't make any comment. Huh? So it's true. You've sinned. And you are not worthy. It's true. Ha! And put it on him. So his father just turned away from him and didn't make any comment. Watch out when there is no comment about your things. I said, watch out when there is no comment about your things. It has a It's only that they are not saying anything to you. Watch out for things that there is no comment on. But the father said to his servants, bring the best robe. He just turned away from him. Sir. Ah! Ah! Kwesi? Kabana? Baba? Come. Bring forth the best robe. Put it on him. Put a ring on him. It doesn't mean that he's not done something wrong. Don't be deceived by... Doesn't mean they are happy with you. Let us eat and be merry. No comment about what has happened. My son was dead, he's alive. He was lost and is found. Which is the first comment that was made. And the comments are short but loaded. He said he's dead. Lost. And he was talking to his servants. But the boy, he didn't tell him you were dead. He didn't say you were lost. He said, <laughs> no comment. Ah, hello, Baba. Uh, coffee. Governor, bring some whatever. You know, he was. He's found. So they began to have a party. No comment to the boy. Now his elder son was in the field. And as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and dancing. Organized by the father. And he called one of his servants and asked, what is the meaning of these things? I'm like, is there, is, is there a bad day? Is there something I don't know? And he says, your, your brother has come. And your brother and your father has killed the fatted calf because he has received him safe and sound. The father is happy of the safety of the boy. And he was angry and he would not go in. I'm not attending that party. Therefore his father came, his father came out of the house to, to the outside to see him. He said, please, 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 please. Verse 29. And he answered, this many years, many years, Seven, I've not done anything bad. I've not uh, transgressed any commandment. Yet you've never given me one of the small goats so that I should make merry and have a kebab with my friends. You see how we have kebab in the church? We are, we are celebrating salvation every Sunday. Kashipola. But as soon as this your son, and this, the, the boy knew details which no one knew, which has devoured thy living with harlots. The boy knew it. This is a womanizer following women, girls. He has used up all that you earned. You know, inheritance is said to benefit only 2% of those who inherit it. I mean, not benefit, but it increases in only 2%. Like most people who inherit things, don't increase it. Yes. Let's say like Ghana, we inherited from our colonial masters a country with a railway network. Okay? From Accra to Kumasi, Accra to Takradi, Takradi to Obwasi, Takwa to Kumasi, something like that. And I think Tema, 
That's why we inherited it. It was a triangle of railway networks. Yes, through the countries. Kumasi, our church, our church in Kumasi, the first church we had in Kumasi, it was right by the railway line. All the way. We inherited it. Few people are able to advance. Because when you sit down and you just criticize the person who is ahead of you or the fathers, you don't learn anything from them. You, don't, you can't learn from somebody you criticize. True or not true? <laughs> you can't learn. We say, ah, they just built it to take the gold out of the country. They were just raping the country. As long as you keep criticizing, okay, since 1957, have we not had gold to take out of the country? Since 1957. I'm asking you a personal question. This is just between the two of us. Since 1957 up till today, have we not had gold in Ghana that we need to take out of the country? Since, oh, they, were just, they just came to build railways where, where they needed it to take whatever out. Since 1957, 61 years ago, have we not had gold to take out of Ghana? Even now that they say the gold is finished, they are reopening Obwasi. They are now just restarting the mine again. During the time of uh, President Rawlings, I think it was that time, Ashanti Gold was bringing 600,000 ounces a, a, a year or a month or a week or a day of gold. It was one of the best in the world. Why will you not build more railroad? You, 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 you idiot fool, you cannot learn from somebody you criticize. His, 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 all his actions are obnoxious to you. That's why when you have all about the person, you may think, oh, I'm just criticizing this part. But once you criticize point A, it's like the point A is on the person. If you criticize a pimple that is on my face, you are criticizing my face. And my face is in my head and my head is in my body. Okay, back to, sorry. Back to, um, yeah. I don't even know how we got into all that. Uh, uh, but People who inherit cannot improve. We inherited a CD that was stronger than one pound. One pound, one CD. Couldn't make it get stronger. Most people who inherit, only 2%, I heard Mike Maddox say I was surprised, only 2% of people who inherit can make the thing go bigger. Amazing. Why? Mostly from criticism and blindness to what the person is actually doing. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. So let's go before we get lost. As soon as this boy came, inheritance. You've made a party for him. Verse 31. But didn't speak to the boy. When the boy came, he didn't He would say something. So let's take rings party. Watch out when no more talking about your things. He said, son, thou art ever with me. And all that I have is thine, including the calf that we making the party with is yours. And this boy has nothing. Verse 32. It was right that we should marry, be merry and be glad because, you know, he has been saved. Hallelujah. So, I want us to see The first point is that a certain man had two sons. The fact that you come from the same womb does not mean you will both behave in the same way. You know, one of my greatest shocks was that my children looked different. Yes, that brought about these children. (laughs) It's a surprise. What is this? A different one has come. What is this one? A different one has come. This one has turned into a boy. This one has turned into a girl. Hey! 
And it's amazing that two children with the same father and the same mother, all right, this prodigal son, have two different outcomes, which shows you that the problem is with the boy. The problem is with the son, not with the father. So all of you here must know that the same father you have can produce a very good and humble, obedient child. And that same father can produce a rebellious and wicked child. Which shows you that the problem is not with the father, but the problem is with the child. That's why you have two outcomes from the same product. Ghana Medical School produced doctors. And if it's the same medical school and you have one person doing this, one person doing something else, it shows you that the school is good. But students, difference. Differences in students from the same training, the same exams. So, don't be blaming your father. Many of you, how many of you have blamed your father and your mother before? Now, close your eyes and just raise your hand as high as possible. Okay, now open your eyes. Don't put your hand up. No, oh, oh. Keep your hand up. Yes. How many have not been happy with your father and your mother before? Most of us here. Yeah. And you've actually, okay, put your hand up. How many have seen something wrong with them? There's something wrong with this man. Raise your hand. Ah. There's something wrong with this man. And you see, why we even teach loyalty? Because I am also a father. Almost every church, the members of the church find something wrong with the pastor. Yes. So when we teach about loyalty and we teach you to have a certain mind, it's also to drive out that evil that is in you. Because even if there is something wrong with your father, it's not your duty to correct your father or to even you, you must, the Bible says, honor your father. This is honor your father who is a good father. It says, obey your parents, good or not good, obey them. One day, I think somebody saw me, I think he thought he, yeah, I think he thought he had got the master question. He came and said, Bishop, I want to tell you something that I don't think you know about. I said, what is it? He said, my father is a thief. I said, really? So where is your father? I said, oh, he's in prison. I said, why? He showed me the prison. I said, how come your father said, oh, he, he, he swindles people. Since I grew up, he has been stealing. So he's always been arrested. We are always, he's always been arrested. So what should I do with such a father? I told him it's easy. He thought he had asked me the master question. <laughs> what should I do with my father who is a thief? I said, you must be the number one person to be visiting him in prison. With fresh kenke and fried fish. If that is what he likes. I think the father is a garment, so I said, fresh kenke fish. And honor him. Visit him. Be good to him. Be nice to him. Don't rebuke him. Don't correct him. Yes, he's your father. He's your father. Don't correct him. You can't correct him, of course, unless he wants you to correct him. Who's father? But you are not there to correct your fathers. You are not there to correct your fathers. Your father is there to correct you. You are not there to correct your father. Two boys oh, from the same father. One was very bad. One was very good. It shows you that it's the child who is somewhere. Satan has entered children and made them dislike their fathers. And that dislike brings a curse, Malachi 4. Yes. When, put it up, Malachi 4. I will turn the heart of the fathers to the children. You see, when your heart is towards somebody, when a man towards a, a girl, Few boys who are in love. 
that the girl that they like smells the madly and that no mosquito lives in their room because of the mouth no fly zone no fly zone mouth insecticide Imagine it because your heart is towards the person. Person, a uh, beautiful, on a morning show, a uh, nice, and uh, uh, very. I mean, look at all the ladies around us. They look so beautiful. They look so fantastic. Brothers, look around. Don't be, don't be shy. It's beautiful, angelic. They look angelic. <laughs> My first love daughters are very beautiful. If you want a, a very beautiful bride, you have to come to First Love Church. Yes, they are very, very posh. Yes, it's working in the church, pa. They are posh. The boys are good, the girls are beautiful forevermore. Yes. So when your heart is towards somebody, you don't see. So in the same way, when the heart is towards the, the, child, the heart of the father, is towards the children, he doesn't see much of their fault. And when the heart of the children is towards their father, they don't see much of the fault. But when the heart is not towards the father, and the heart is not towards the other way around as well, then it's like his only faults and problems you are seeing. It fills your mind. It fills, why is he shouting again? If you were in his situation, you may not shout, you may explode. It's true. And when your heart turns towards him, you may not even have compassion. And he said, when that is not the case, I will smite the earth with a curse. A, a curse will bow his land. That's why I always look at children and say, you, are you flowing with your father? Because I am I'm trying to avoid the basis of a curse. Wow. The basis of a curse. Wow. Yes. One day a sister, she was in, in, in church and I was preaching about fathers, honoring your father, liking your father. She said, I went home and I started to think differently. Then I realized that my father was being maltreated at home. She said one day he just asked, he said he wanted yam. To eat yam instead of something, instead of rice. Hey, she said the way they faced him in the house. Then she got up, she said, no mommy, but he just wants yam. Which you make, let us make the yam for him. She now began to see that he was rather, you see, this are seen as buffoons. I read it in his book. I was surprised. He said they are as mean. They are seen as being mean, as mean and useless people. It's true. You can create an atmosphere and a word. Yes. Especially if you have a phlegmatic father and a choleric mother. She, she can make your father look like a real fool in the house, like a useless man. What's the use of this man in this, in this house? Remember when you needed a spam, when you needed a child, a picture, when you needed a wedding, he was everything. Now that he has provided all those things, because you have become barren in your spirit and your temperament and your Two children from the same source. Never think that it's a group uh, even from the same family. You are always an individual. And you die alone and you, you face God alone. So, uh, me and my sisters are saying, me and my brothers are saying, huh, you don't know. 
My father had many brothers and one or two sisters. Each one of them had died at a different time. A, a big family. Every brother this is dead. Uncle this is dead. Uncle this. At different stages. Although they came from the same father and the same mother. Years went by and each brother died at a different time. From the same womb, each one has been given a longer or a shorter time to live. It's amazing. And the same way, sons of the Bible school, sons of the first love church, of the UD churches, all behave differently. <laughs> because the, the behavior, the difference in behavior is so vast that you wonder. Same church, different behaviors. Okay. Verse 12. We just have to read the verses and then we, we, we know what to say. Number two, the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion. Now, younger, the, there is stupidity often in youthfulness. The Bible says that there is foolishness in the heart of a child. And the rod will drive it far. So when you are, when you are youthful, foolishness is bound in the heart. So when you are youthful, huh, there's automatic foolishness. Automatic. How many have been foolish before? Yes. Now, one of the wonderful things is to find a young person who is wise. Yeah, that's a great thing. And you see, many of you are like that. You are like young people who are becoming wise with the wisdom of like grown-ups at a young age. What did the guy say? Your father called you, or is it your mother called you, said that you are the pastor, family pastor. Where is he? Come. I need him. Is he still around? I'm sure he's somewhere. Yeah. The young boy who came to give a testimony that uh, I think the labor, something. Okay. All right. No problem. How many have been called a pastor in your family before? The pastor. How old are you? I'm 27. 27. Who else has been called a pastor? How are you? 27. I want younger than 27 who's been called a pastor. 18. Come. Wow. Yeah, ready at 20. Huh? I turned 19 July the 23rd. 23rd. And who called you a pastor? My cousin called me a pastor. Please, I'm in the Anakazi Bible School. I'm coming from Guyana. And she called me the pastor. When it was my birthday, she put up on our status. Our family pastor. Next. Our family pastor. Yes, please. She wrote that next to my name. And she placed a picture on WhatsApp or status. And she wrote, Orin Jonas, the family pastor. You will be great. And I said, Amen. Wow, our family pastor. Isn't that not fantastic? Sit down. Anybody else? I need 20 young something. Come. Come. And there to come. How old are you, Michael? 25. 20, come. 20, come. It's a great thing when a young person, because the usual is that foolishness should be in you, isn't it? Young people, come. Come, all of you, come. Yes. You are usually the bad boy. Come. Were you a bad boy in your family? I was, a very, I was, I was like the black sheep in my family. My, I got to a point that my father said that this, I'm not going to advise you this way again. That was when I was going to university. He will not advise you again. Like this way again, that he's going to come to my room. He came to my room. 
Is it that here that I don't stay in school? I'm always in the studio recording songs. I don't go for class and all that. And this is the last time he's advised me that way. He's the last time he's advising him. That way. That way. The way of coming to your room. Yes. To talk to me. And that I'm now a man. So whatever I want to do in my life. And he was saying that one day it's going And to... how old were you when he said he will not advise you again? I was 19. 19. And now they call you what? A pastor. Even he came to Accra. So yesterday I met him. And he was telling his friend that now his son is becoming a pastor. Yeah. 25. And you? 24. In my family, I'm the, I'm the baddest. I was very, very, very bad. Very, very? Very, very bad. Smoking, drinking, fornicating, a lot of things. Dealing with a lot of prostitutes, everything. So you, you a small boy like you were going to prostitutes? <laughs> yes, please. Even some prostitutes used to work for me. I was their pimp. <laughs> prostitutes used to work for him. How, how old were you when prostitutes were working for you? I was only 20. This small boy was 20 years old and prostitutes worked for him. <laughs> so I hope you understand why I'm preaching the word of God. Is it a good thing what I'm doing? And how old are you? I'm 20, 20 this year. 20 this year, so you are 19 now. 19. And they call you a pastor? They call me a pastor. Even um, last week, my mother was very seriously sick. And then it's like, she, was, she couldn't move, she couldn't do anything. She asked for me, and I came, and I laid the mantle upon the stomach. And when I prayed for her yesterday, the, the next morning, she was very happy. She was, like, walking around. Like, she said, no, I thank you so much. For every time anyone needed anything, they call me to pray for them, my sisters. At the age of 19, do you see what the wisdom of God can do? It can, this is, this, the people talk like this when they are in their 50s. They wait till they are 50 to talk like this. And you? I'm 17. And somebody calls you a pastor. Who called you pastor? My friend, because I came at the Bible school. And I told him, I told um, my family they knew, but... Were you bad before? Yes, please. I was very bad uh, with my father. With your father? Yes, please. I was very stubborn. I don't listen at all to my father. To my father, especially my father. Your father, especially? Why? What is wrong with your father? Give me a mic. I used to say that he's very bad. Like, he's, I didn't like him. I, I didn't understand, but I didn't like him. And I heard a lot of stories about him that he has done that. He has done that. He went to prison. He came out. Mm -hmm. He has been bad. He left us. He went in another town. And he didn't take care of us. <laughs> All this and it like since I was primary school, the the thing. Where, where do you come from? I'm from Burkina, please. Burkina, Burkina too. They don't like fathers. <laughs> I thought it only happened in Ghana. Hello. Hey. And you? I was very disrespectful to both my father and my. So at a point, at 18, my father just left me to work on my own. And so coming to church, he won't, he won't mind me. He won't give any comments. He would just leave me to do anything I wanted. And at a point, I had to pay my school fees myself. He had left. Because you were so bad. Yes. I was. And what has happened now? Now, they, they even consult me. My, my cousin is in the village. He has um, trauma, doll abuse. They'll tell me, oh, pray for him. My, um, they will call you to pray. Are you now? I'm 22 now. Jesus is powerful. <laughs> and you? Yeah, 20 very soon. And um, I also didn't really like my parents. I was very disrespectful, didn't listen Which to them. Which country are you from? The UK, London. The UK, I didn't know they did that in the UK. <laughs> Can you believe it's in the UK? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, it's a spiritual. And the spirit, they don't need visas. They, they go to every country. <laughs> so ever since I started coming to First Love, it's like I've changed. I'll be giving them scriptures. My parents will come to me to pray for them, pray for my brothers, pray about all the situations at home. And it's like 
they were like, oh, one day marriage, we'll be Marriage, were they asking you for marriage? Yeah, like marriage, just to be peaceful in the house, just to... Between your father and mother, yeah. they, they, they are yeah. now a counsellor. Did you counsel them? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'll be like, mom, sometimes just, you have to be humble, small. You, you tell to your listen. mother to be humble. <laughs> you see now, the young people are now counsellors. And any of the young people who have been counselling your parents, have you been counselling your parents on marriage? Please. What happened? Um, my mom was having a problem with my stepdad, and I was encouraging her that as a woman... Is, your, is she married to your stepdad? Yes, please. And she was, you were counseling her? Yes, but at first, we don't, we don't get along, because I was, she, was, she was my only... She was the only person I had, and there was always confusion, because I was comparing her efforts in training me to others. When I said that other people don't have... Um, I don't have what others have, I was kind of conflicting between yes. the two of us. But... And now, 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 when she when she don't sees me, she don't feel comfortable, and she wants to call me to find out what she's doing. And one day she saw me. She said that if somebody would have told her that something good would come out of me, she wouldn't have believed. Yeah. And I was encouraging her on the model marriage. I was telling her that. <laughs> how, how, how old are you? How old are you? I'm 21 years old. Where do you come from? I'm from Nigeria. Please. Nigeria. Yes, I'm in so the you are advising your you are advising your mother. Yes, please. To do what? To be in a marriage. Yes, please. To be what? To be a flowing sister. A flowing sister. <laughs> and, and what else were you advising your mother? And I was also advising my mother to um to tell my stepdad that they should build something because. Our father says that we have to build something build as something. we are alive. Yes, and yes. when I told so her... So was your mother flowing after you told her? Uh, yes, that one was sorted out properly. And she was flowing. And like what area did you want her to flow in? Which, which things did you want? Um, she, usually she, she, does, she wasn't flowing with my stepdad. And so she, she always gives him the north wind. And I was like... North wind? Yes. What is a north wind? I don't understand it. <laughs> like the facial expression. The face? Yes. Ah, you notice your mother's face? Yes, please. Once, once I was in the house, when she's seven, she doesn't smile. And mm. I was, mom, you have to learn how to smile because... <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's telling his mother she has to learn how to smile. Wow. And what about you? Uh, my, my own is not my parents, but it was a different couple. They came to me. My how pastor, old are you? I'm 25. And you are doing marriage counseling. Yes, are you married? No, please. You are not married. Yes, please. You see, my people are very wise. They, they are not married, but they know so many things. Clap for them. Go and sit down. Clap for them. Beautiful. Hey. Hmm. He said his mother was giving the north wind. You will be declared a counselor in your family. Amen. So, the younger of them said to his father, give me the portion of goats that falleth to me. And he divided to them his living. All right? Verse 13. Now, not many days after, he embarked on a destructive journey, a self destructive journey so when you don't know Jesus you are gathered all your gifts of life in a bag and you are moving on a journey to destroy yourself and to waste look at what he said he wasted his substance when you don't know Jesus you gather a bag and go, he said he went to a far as possible. And as far from your father as possible. As possible. As far from guidance. As far from what you grew up with as possible. And there you are ready to go and waste it. What are your gifts? He gave you your beautiful face, eh? So there you are, a young lady with a beautiful face. And beautiful. Beautiful what?
Bugsam Beauties. Beautiful gifts. And there you go. There she goes. Look at her. Going to waste her beauty. Waste. When I say waste, wa what does it mean to waste? Can I find the, the, the meaning of waste? He, he wasted his substance. Young man. Waste of your energy, your strength, your manhood, your manliness, huh? to waste your sperms, wasting your love, the love you have, the love you have for people. Are wasting it. Your mind is wasted on drugs. Your anus is wasted. Yes, it's wasted. Like, oh, why is the waste? I'm not seeing the definition. Bring, bring it. To wear, look at the number, one, two, three, four, five. To wear away by degrees. So your beauty wears away by degrees. The more boys you have, the more your beauty wears away by degrees. It's true. You know, when you have, when you have discernment, you can see someone. You can see the purity is gone. You, you waste your purity. That's what goes out of you. That's the first thing that goes out of you. You are no more pure. You are no more pure. A person who is not pure, you can you immediately feel it. Yes. It, it, by degrees. To impair gradually. So gradually you become less beautiful. Miss, you are now. Or Miss Iron Rods. Miss cement bags. <laughs> to, to gradually bring it back. To diminish by constant loss. To use up. To spend unnecessarily or carelessly. From one boy's room to another, you spend here. Then you go and spend here. And you go and spend here. And your life, you are back on a journey. I want to go as far from home as possible. That's why people feel excitement when they say, oh, now I'm going today, I'm going to do something wild I've not done some before. <laughs> Girls, is it not true? <laughs> yes. I'm going to do something I have not done before. I'm going for a married man now. You waste your womb. You know, when you, when you have abortion, they use a certain metal. I don't know if you've seen it before. It's something like a, a fork that is bent. If you can imagine a fork that has been bent round, then it's used to scrape the womb. So they put it through the cervix and then they scrape it. They scrape so that no pieces of the, what do you call it, is left inside them. So if it's the womb, so you hear some grating sound and then they scrape, scrape, scrape it's called curettage wasting your womb then you waste your emotions Peter Lava I love you, so I love you. Then your emotions go high. Oh, then it comes down. Shoo, boom. Oh, then another one comes. Hi, James. Pow. Back to the ground. Then John. Pow. Kobe G. Pow. Hey. You 
waste your mind. That's why when God caught me, I realized that, you know, I was good in school. I had good grades. I had good uh, grades in school. A le- a le- common entrance. When, when my common entrance result was announced in the class, was, they announced in the class, this is what everybody has. In those days, we did O-level. No comment, don't laugh, don't laugh. <laughs> you know it's, it's a better system. Mm-hmm. So we did O-level. But before you go in, you have to do common entrance. When my common entrance result was announced, there was a, there was a <sighs> everybody was surprised. They were surprised to hear that I had done well. They didn't know that I could do well. Then O level. And then A level. I think there were three of us who went to medical school from our, our school. That's all. We're only 55 people, 50 in the class, the whole country. They interviewed hundreds. The first 10 were exempted from. And I was the fifth person in the country. No, shh, no clap. I realized that I had something more than granites upstairs. And I decided to use it for God. And not to waste it on anything else. Yes. When you go far from God, you waste, he said, he wasted his substance or what his father gave him. He wasted it. What the Father in heaven has deposited in you, your intelligence, your mind, your eyes, your wealth, your gifts, your talents, your whole life, your sexuality, your sexual capabilities. You waste it. That's why a lot of when they get married, they are not interested in having sex. Then they just remember, sir. I know one couple, when they got married on the, on the wedding night, they couldn't move. They said, oh, this is the bad thing. This is a bad thing. After we rented the hotel for them, put them in a hotel with petals and special roses and other. When they got there, they, they immediately when they saw the environment and what they were about to do, they were like, this is the bad thing that they were paralyzed and they just slept till the morning. When they came to church, brother said, no, I remember some things. I said, no. I'm not coming back to this. Ka, si, so, sha, she, sho, pa, la, ba, la, ba. What did he do? He said, he took, not many days, as quickly as possible. That is not very old. That's why I say from 25 to 50. That song says, remember what you used to do when you were young? You were not too young to do bad things. How can you be too young to serve the Lord? Look at the young boys advising parents. Advising a mother, you tie your face and lose the face. Coughing. And another better person comes to take your place. (laughs) And cook for different boys. Chops. Made bean stew for your beloved. Bean stew. Bean stew. <laughs> gobe. It's called gobe. Gobe. What is gobe? Bean stew. Gary and beans. No, not Gary and beans. Bean stew. Ah, okay, and Gary, yes. You are using your cooking skill, Jollof. A new beloved has come with new things that he likes. He told you that he likes spaghetti. You have also gone to learn how to do various types of spaghetti. Wow. Energy has come. That's why when they marry, then they can't do it anymore. I, I, don't, I don't feel I do it. We wasted it already on the wrong person. Your, 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 your heart is not a good heart. You are not easy to like. So when they love you, it's like, as for a man, he's some way. That's all you learn. You say, as for, as for men, as for men. A man is a beast. My mother told me, a man is a beast. Eh? Eh? My mother told me, you don't have to trust any man. You've heard it. Men, 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 men. Watch out for those who talk that men. A 
a young man, you are counting how many girls you've slept with. Charlie, it be who they ride them. Charlie, it be who they ride them. This one. I hear say you date top. Charlie, girls, they are considering you as people to ride them. As horses, horses. Did God make you a horse for somebody to ride? <laughs> Gala. Three riders on one horse. Yes. Huh? Three people are with you. Small girl. You are wasting something on your life. Oh. Two boys have t- taken you. I said, go. And when they finish, oh, I clam. I said, I clam. I finish them. Your, your, your beauty is being wasted. Today marks the end of the wasting of your life. In Jesus' name. Verse 14. And when he had spent all, you see, when you are now not as fresh, you see that song, she's fresh, she's fresh, she's exciting. She's exciting. There's a time you are fresh. The Bible calls it the flower of your age. When you're like a flower, she's beautiful like a flower. When all that is faded, what did the the waste say? It says to diminish gradually. When it's all faded, yes, it's the flower of your age. That's why God chooses you when you are young. You come and tell me now you are retired, so you want to work for God. We are, you are welcome. But God also knows what is nice. Yes, God also knows what is nice. He wants people in their 20s. If you don't know, I'm telling you. He also knows what is fresh. Intelligence is fresh. You know, when I, I didn't know this at first. When I was doing the pastoral examinations, I used to say, oh, our exams start. And, but then we realized that the older people, they couldn't pass the exams. I didn't understand. I thought that maybe they are not serious. But after some time, I realized that they are serious. But their mind is not able to do the exam. So I started to exempt them from exams. That fresh mind, that fresh mind that can remember scriptures is the mind that God wants to be wasted in the world. And on riotous, useless living. That fresh mind. When he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine. Look, <laughs> life, eh? maybe you don't know. Famine means lack of everything. Now, lack of boys, lack of girls, lack of money, lack of what you thought will never get finished. All the businesses which collapse, they all have the mind, this thing will never get finished. But it does get finished. Yeah. Even if you are a thief. The places to steal, for, because security is increasing. Even we have increased our security. Yes, we have increased the security. We have secret service in the church. There is a person maybe sitting by you or behind you. We have sick, secret service. They are watching for thieves. They know them. They even call them and they call us, follow us. Come, follow. <laughs> but I will not, I will not told you, tell you who they are. Because, so as you still realize that at times comes, it's not so easy to steal. And I've been teaching everybody in the church, hold your bag, hold your phone, because you are going to travel to an international airport. Yeah. So you must know how to hold your phones and hold your bag. No, but you come to church, your iPad is stolen, your laptop is stolen. Then you are not ready for international travels. How many are going to be going to Tel Aviv soon? You'll be there. You'll be there. First love in Israel. Because when I go to Israel, I like to walk fast and walk to places. We go to the valley of go to so many places. The elderly people, they'll be tired when I, when, when, when I, when I think. They'll make me huh.
when he had spent all and he was now tired. Remember your creator before your shoulders stoop. I was watching Andre Crouch just before he died. His shoulders were like this. When they, when they were singing, there's nobody, then he would look, nobody like Jesus. Oh, no, not one. No, no, not one. His shoulders were bent over the knees. Looks dark. The eyes. Everything looks dark. You wake up with the first sound of birds chirping. You are awake. That's why all people listen to radio early in the morning. They wake up. They can't sleep. Remember your creator before you have spent all. Is draw nigh when you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. And when he arose, there arose a mighty famine, and he began to be in need. He said, Charlie, I need something. I need. When you don't go to school when you are young, you see that you are now old. You say you are now going to do university, yes. workers' college, yes. matured entry. Yes. They are now going to do a short course. <laughs> You see them doing masters. Always they want to do more degrees. Because they realize they miss the time. And a person who is mature in school is different from somebody who is young and learning. Yes. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of the country. Listen. There is only one solution. All alternative solutions. Oh, I've had boyfriends and they are not working. I'm going to get a married man to be a second wife. Look at it. He went and joined himself to a citizen instead of getting the real solution, which is to come back to your father. You see, listen, you turn, and when you are going the wrong direction, and look, you better realize that uh, the sooner you do a U turn, the better for your life. Because if you are going to, to Aflao and you are going towards Takradi, look, you can even be praying about it. The, Lord, take me quickly. Lord, bless me in this journey. Lord, help me. Look, the main thing you need is a U10. Tell somebody, do you need a U10? Do you need a U10 in your life? Yes. You must be ready to turn around. Turn around, turn around. God is calling. He's calling you from a life of wasted years. And after he had spent all, he went and joined. And he, the, the, the citizen of the country made things worse. You are now going for a married man. You are now going, because you didn't go to school properly, you are now going to do another short course. Short courses can never make up for lack of university education. That's why Anakazo is not one year, it's not two years, it's not even three years, it's about four years. Yes. Hmm. And he sent him to his field to feed swine. Now, swine, you will not understand until you go to Israel. Once I was in Israel the first time, when, when it was breakfast time, I said, do you have pork? Pork. The man said, pork? Yeah, in Israel, there's no pork. They don't eat no pork in Israel. Yes, they don't eat pigs. So for you to be sent to feed them, things are getting worse. The thing you don't eat, the thing you don't like, the thing you don't touch, the thing you detest, you are sent deeper to serve it. Very low. Then after that, Bible says, he would fain have filled his belly with the husk which the swine did eat, but no man gave unto him. Let me tell you, there is a time when no man will give to you. Yes, you have to meditate and see what you really have to do. Ghana has reached that stage. Ghana has reached that stage. As a nation. No man is giving to us again. No. At first, when we were a young country, people used to give us money. One day, my mother told me, the Swiss ambassador, they donated uh, computers or so to a certain university in the country whose name begins with one of the alphabets. 
A year later, they went to the university to see the donation that they had made from their government. When they got that, all the things were in the boxes. They have not opened it before. Yeah, a year or two years later, it's all in the boxes. You get tired of giving gifts to people who don't know how to even use things. Yes. Ghana has passed the stage of receiving, and there is a time in your life you've passed the stage of receiving gifts. You've passed the stage of receiving advice, help, counsel. You get to a place where nobody wants to talk about your things. A lot of marriages are like that. You talk and they will not change, so you leave them. Whatever God's destinies will be, that you leave them. Do what you want to do. Yeah. No man, no man, nobody to help again. Look at my hand. You see my hand? It's stretching out to help you, to preach to you. But one day, this hand will not be stretched out towards you. Over the years, I've learned that there comes a time you can help people. And you should stop helping them. Stop trying to help them. It's too late. That's why you see, you see how I keep moving on. That's why I'm in First Love Church. I moved on. I moved on. I moved on. I moved on. That's why I started to give thyself holy. Because I've preached to my pastors. They are tired of my preachings. So I moved to outside pastors. Yes. I keep moving. That's why I'm moving give thyself holy to Kenya. Yes. Yes. Keep moving. Because you see at a point you realize that this person you are advising, this person you are talking to, it's like he doesn't realize how great it is what you are giving to him. And no man gave unto him. When he came to himself. So you see, you need to come to repentance. And he sat down and started meditating. And started thinking. So that is when you start thinking that you get saved. And you start going in the right direction of your life. Amen. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Yes. When you start thinking, your life starts going in the right direction. Without that, your life will never go in the right direction. You will be wasting your life. So he started to think, hey, my father's house. They are okay there. Even John is fine. Kwesi is okay. Kra. Kwame is enjoying. Baba is enjoying. Kofi is enjoying. Things are going well for these people. Why don't I analyze myself and take a decision for Jesus to follow Jesus, to serve him? Huh? Why don't I take a decision to be a follower of God? When you think, try to think. Somebody is waving his khakis and say, hi, baby. I love you, baby. Think. When you think, you, you do the right thing. When you look, he said, can you marry this person? No. Will you marry this person? No. Is it going to work? No. Then what are you doing? When you think deeply about things, you start taking decisions. Most of us don't think. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs 8.1, Proverbs 18.1, put it up. Through desire, a man having separated himself, you see, you must at times separate yourself. Go to the prayer gardens and seek God. And when you seek God, you intermeddle with all wisdom. And that wisdom will make you a wise person. Amen. That wisdom will make you a very wise person. Are you listening to me? Yes. So crisis will come. Problems will come. But God is the only way forward. So he said... How many servants? Meditation. Start thinking. And you, God is going to bless you. Amen. Amen. Let me show you something. If you look in Ghana, start thinking. You suddenly see the reasons for things. The solutions. The answers. But people don't want to think about it. Amen. Amen. And then finally, carry on. Verse 18. He said, I will arise and I will go to my father. And I will say, Father, when I was coming home, 
we had an accident. I was in the hospital. My leg was broken, so I've been on admission for two years. Some people, when they are repenting, they come with more lies and make up stories, and it makes things worse. Isaiah 31 one says that you are adding sin to sin, adding sin to sin. So when you've decided to change, decide not to change with lies and partly tell lies and part truth because God will find you out and it's not going to help you. If you have, just come clean. Don't come and say, oh, you know, I was involved in an accident. You know, when you break your leg, you have to lie in the hospital for a long time. So they put a nail in the leg and I was admitted for a long time. After that, I was admitted to the hospital. That's how come all my money got finished. It's not true. Oh, I was doing agriculture practice because I was doing my master's in agri farming. I was doing animal husbandry. More lies. More stories. Nothing that I want to. So I had just had one or two boyfriends. It was just the second boyfriend, but the first one was just, I mean, nothing. And then the second. It's not one or two, it's 93. Wow. wow. Isaiah 30. Put it there. Isaiah 30. Woe to the rebellious children that take counsel, but not of me. That cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. Add, put, underline it. Add sin to sin. You've already sinned and you add another sin to the sin. Sin times sin is equal to what? Sin squared. And sin squared is equal to what? Where are the math students? Adding sin to sin. Or oh, this addition. Okay. All right, let's go back. I will go to my father and, and I will say, I've sinned. How many want a major change in your life? Then take a major decision. Don't take a minor, minor decision. Minor decisions bring minor changes. If you want a major change, you have to take a major decision. If you want a major change in your life, take a major change. I took a major change in 1991. I took a change. I decided I will be a full-time minister. I told my wife, I'm going to do it. I'll give myself wholly to God. Wholly. Since then, I took a decision. I put aside everything. I, I was doing a business. I parked my business on the roadside. I said, that's the end of business. Up till today, I don't do business. No. There's no business about me. It has actually made me know more about business by not doing business. Because you know sometimes when you step back and you look, you can see this one do not work. Many of the banks that collapse, I could show you the reason why this bank will collapse. Including some that have not yet collapsed. You, you see that this one can collapse. <laughs> I told somebody a few years ago that many of the banks in the country are fake. They are not, they, they are not real banks. Do you, do, wait, wait, did I tell you that how many years ago? Eight, ten years easily. Yeah, I've been saying it. This, they are not real banks. This, the money can even finish in this bank. You can see it. I will, if you want major change, major decision, I will arise and say, I have sinned. I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of your hired servants. Verse 20. He arose and he came to his father. When he was yet a great way off, you see, when you start doing the right thing, God starts to help you. He meets you halfway. And it starts to become far easier than you thought it would ever be. The father has decided to come and help you halfway through. That's why for me, to serve God, it's just been a joy. It's just been a joy. It's just been a joy to serve the Lord. Yes. He met me halfway. He met me halfway. Held my hand. Had compassion on me. And took me along. Said, come my son. 
You want to serve me, isn't it? I'll show you how nice it is to come to your father's house and work in your father's house. Come, let's go. I was there and he brought me a ring. Then he brought me shoes, my size, jackets to wear, clothes to wear. Kamo shitalababa. Pemo satarababa. He said, I'll show you how nice it is to work for me. How nice it is to come home to your father. Come and work in your father's house. I must be about my father's business. What a blessing. He, he met me halfway. I said I will never own a car, never own a house. I will never have anything. He met me halfway. He said, I'll show you something. How nice it is to work for me. You want to work for me? I'll show you. And that's the same feeling I have for people who want to work for me. People who have worked for me for a long time. I have a certain feeling for them. To show them that it's not a waste of your life to choose to work for Jesus or even to work for me. If you choose to work for him, the father will get up from his house and come out on the way and tell his servant even before he leaves the house. Something is happening now. I feel a move. Organize clothes. Start ironing. Start ironing some of my dresses. My son is in rags. I'll show him that when you come to my house, when you come to the father's house, you'll never be in need of anything. This impoverished man who was feeding pigs. Can you imagine the atale that he was wearing to feed pigs? Can you imagine the atale that he was wearing to feed pigs? Do you know atale? <laughs> you, you were crying when you came to Jesus. <laughs> The very first service we had in our church, Bishop Saki was actually the one who preached. First service of this whole UD. When he preached, there was a girl. Her name starts with one of the alphabets. She came forward. I was standing, I was standing there in this medical school auditorium. And she came forward, weeping. <laughs> hey, tears. You could have bathed with the tears. Swim. It was swimming. It was swimming in the tears. What is it? That's so why I asked Bishop Saki, what? The girl was crying. Why is she crying? He said, oh, her boyfriend. She said that she's, she's leaving her boyfriend for Jesus. I said, wow. She was crying. <laughs> Next week, I saw her in church. Week after, week after, week after, week after, week after. Never went back. Said the Lord. Then one day, shh. One day, a doctor one of the brothers in church saw her and the brother said, I'm, I'm going to England. Do you know England? Yes. England. I want to marry you. Yeah. And he proposed to her. So, wow. You want to marry her? I said, yeah. But as she was getting married, she married him. As she was getting married, I always remember the first day in the first service, a little girl, she was crying, said, no more boy, I'm Jesus, I'm going to serve the Lord, no more, no more sin, no more. And she was one of the few, you know, we're not many doctors, you know, our church didn't have many, any, anybody, we didn't have, we were medical students, few medical students, very few, nurses, lab tech students, nursing students, and students from Ebenezer Secondary School. <laughs> These are our members, 40 people, Yes. So one of the few medicals, maybe there were about four or five, one of them chose her, said, I like you. What you thought you've lost? You thought you've, you've given up, I've given up my big farm. Fool, you should give it up and move. I've given up my life of freedom. Yeah, it's better. I'm coming to God to suffer. I'm coming to be sad. Ah, halfway, halfway. I prophesy, I promise you, halfway, remember, halfway on your journey to serve him, halfway, he will meet you. He will meet you. And he will take you back. And when he takes you back, yeah, he's coming to cane me. No, cane him. He's coming to beat me with, with uh, uh, this thing, chains. He's coming to beat me with whips. No. Party. All the things you never thought would be part of God will be added to your life, to your amazement. Amen. I never knew that I would, never, I would not need to know the price of Kile Willy or Kebab or many things. 
When I'm traveling, I don't know the price. It's true. I don't know what it costs. I just am going. And I go. And I say, these people should come with me. One, two, three, four. I choose those who come with me. If you see somebody with me, I chose the person to come with me. Yeah. I say, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. person." Ten. Minimum is ten. I don't know how much it costs. (laughs) Halfway. I, and when I was coming to work for God, I said, I will never travel again because I'm going to be the poorest person in the world. Till I, till I started to beg God, the traveling is too much. Choose God. The father said, bring the rope. Nicer brother. Nicer brother. What is it that you want to I said, what is it that you want in a boy? Mention three things you want in a boy. They will be put in that boy. I want somebody who is what? Say it. Somebody. Adam's apple. Are you serious? Bring some water for this girl. Bring some water. You want Adam's apple. Fire the young lady. Tell your neighbor three things. Adam's apple. Hey. <laughs> Bring some more water. Bring some more water. This is very serious. Huh. You got some more water, but you let me. If I preach and it comes back, I will. I will uh. Adam's apple. Okay, God will give you Adam's apple. What else do you want? What else do you want? In a boy. Squinting eyes. Who said that? Fire hair. Just receive it humbly. And what's the third thing that you want? They stop saying. Pink lips. Who said that? Fire this one. (laughs) Tell somebody whatever you want, God is going to give it to you. Amen. How many are ready to come back to Jesus? Oh, Jesus, I love you. But I want to say so many people have theories, but they don't implement them. If you, you see, the boy thought that I will arise, I will go back to my father. Then he did it. He arose and he went back. Today is the day of the implementation of the things that are in your heart. Do it. When I was in a relationship, I told my beloved, sit down. I told my beloved, I said, one day I will teach on a mountain. Those are how my beloved, those is raps. My raps are spiritual raps. Vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin me. No, those are not my type of raps. My, my, I need my inhaler. You are giving, you have taken my breath. Hey. Sisters, if a brother comes to you with very spiritual raps, will you receive him? Huh? They are lying. You are lying. They say you are lying. Oh. Are you lying or you are telling the truth? Spiritual raps. Or you want him to say vitamin C, vitamin D, and vitamin me. <laughs> say Jesus is the answer. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the way. Jesus is what we need. And all that is going around. And young people in this church, I prophesy, you are going to be the wisest young people. The wisest young people. The wisest young people. The wisest young people. people. You will be counselors and advisors. You will be givers of advice. You will be builders of houses at your age. Yes. Beautiful. It's, it's, It's going to be so fantastic. Yes. 
even though you are young and even though foolishness is usually in a young person in your case in your case in your case in your case yes wisdom will be found in you 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 lift your hands and thank god father thank you for your word thank you for wisdom thank you for repentance thank you for a new story for all the young people that are in the church lord a new story a new turn a change in our lives lord because of major decisions major decisions major changes lord major changes put your hands down for him look at me how many are taking major decisions in your life to bring about a major change and the most major change you need is to come nearer to God. Come closer to me. Father, thank you for your word today. Put your hand on your heart. Receive power at this time to implement the wisdom, the wisdom of God in your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and thank God for major changes that are taking place in a major way in your life from this hour as you turn around for him you turn around from being a critical child to a loving child and a darling boy and a darling girl Masato Rama Kapala Shandala two children from one father and one mother God is going to make you the good one father we thank you for your word and your spirit and your power that is released amongst your children this morning this afternoon we are blessed we are grateful in Jesus name as every head is bowed every eye closed if you are here you want to give your life to God you want to give your life to Jesus pastor pray with me maybe somebody invited you but you are not born again you want to give your heart to Jesus Christ if you are here like that lift up your right hand I'm going to pray with you God bless you I want God I want to turn around like this boy and come back to the house of my father I'm going to stop fooling around in the world fooling around far away and I'm coming nearer, I'm coming home. Then lift your hand and come to me in the front. With your hand lifted up, come with your hand up and come all the way to me in the front here. I want to pray with you right now. Clap for them as they come, clap for them as they come. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. this prayer lift your hands up say Lord Jesus please forgive me for my sins I give my life to you I'm sorry for all my sins please write my name in the book of life from today say from today I am turning around I'm turning around I give my life to God to Jesus Christ thank you Lord for saving me Please wash me, wash me, wash me with the blood of Jesus. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Today, I open my heart. I receive Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving me today in the name of Jesus. I am glad. I thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Today, I am turning around forever and forever in the name of Jesus. I pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Clap for them. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. <laughs> give me a book. Give them one of these books. I want to give all of you one of my books. It's a very good book. It's called Key Facts 
for new believers. Would you like to read my beautiful book? It's a book about the Bible and it's going to change your life. Everybody here, I want you to read it. It's my gift to you. As you've come, you are not going back empty handed. You are going with salvation. Jesus is in your heart and a free book in your hand. Clap for Jesus. Is it a blessing? Amen. What's your name? Yes, you. What's your name? Caleb. God has a call for your life. You ran away from God for a long time. But today, God is calling you, bringing you back. No, a lot of the people here, the children, when they say their stories, you will not believe. Are you, are you hearing me, Caleb? When your father gave birth to you, he had a certain mind. That's why he gave you the name Caleb. Yeah, he had a mind. But you've not walked in that way. Is it not true? Hmm? It's true. So today is your day of salvation. You are turning around. Amen. And all of you, the same. Jesus is saving you today. Amen. Your life will never be the same. When we close, we are closing in about five minutes time. When we close, all of you should come to this corner over here. They've written a salvation corner for just two minutes. We are going to share something with you. Don't be in a hurry. Are you happy to come to Jesus today? 